The idea here with this last part is to understand the rotation, right? The rotation in the wrist, right? The slack here. And also important skill is that you're utilizing these hands to tighten up the slack, right? So when I pop the collar, I'm using these two hands together to pull the slack and get tighter and tighter and then pass over, okay? Make sure you have the hand that's passing over is underneath the armpit, okay? Not on the top, does that make sense? Now we're gonna look at um, some ideas around this of when we take the guy to the choking side, right? So we take the guy to the choking side here. It's usually going to happen because I have an underhook and I can push down on this elbow. So even if he's trying really hard to get to the non-choking side, it's still very hard for him to do that, you see? And so we find ourselves here. He's trying, but I have the underhook and I'm also pushing down on this shoulder. So I'm getting him to the choking side. Now, I'm not gonna tell you what side, I, I, they're both good. There's both. There's ways to choke you out on both sides, right? We're just starting this one because this is where you're gonna take guys a lot. Now the problem when I get here is that he'll control, maybe grab the sleeve or hand or whatever, and he buries his shoulder to the mat and he bri you know, bridges in just a little bit. So now the problem is, how do I get my elbow up so that I can choke him. Because if you, if you try, you can try this with your partner, try to pull the choke through without, and now look, if I extend too much, it pops through that elbow. You can lift up that um, elbow and you can pop underneath. So you have to be careful because if you pull too much, you're gonna make an opening in your armpit and the guy's gonna go, right? So when we get here, and he's locked in, check it, let your person do it. We have to find a way to get up so we create momentum. Like uh, kick-starting a, a, a Harley Davidson, like an old motorcycle, kick-start. You're gonna take this top leg, you're gonna kick it straight down, and you're gonna use this momentum to get your elbow to the mat. Boom, right? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna push in here with your chest, right? As I ratchet back, and then, then I do the little flex. So it's like maybe two or three ratchets back, to get the choke, but I have to keep my chest here. This will help you and save energy so you can complete the choke. So we're here, one, two, gets to the side, kick start, and then there. Make sense? Now what's interesting about that is that if I get in the habit of building this into my game, it happens before we hit the ground. I'm here like this. See how I already keep the momentum? I didn't really let him get his head to the ground. If he tried to bury, I'm already up. So you get kind of better at that. So go and try to bury. See? Like I'm already in that position. So I know what I want to do. But to practice it, and I think it's probably better to practice it, is I get to here because I'm gonna be chilling, saving energy. He's gonna be defending, and then I'm gonna pop up and then move. What you might have to do here is when you're in this position, is you might have to take this leg out. We'll talk about that next. But try not to in the beginning here. Boom. Right there, and then pull. Don't release this hand. I'm just showing you so you can see you know, that, that what I'm doing here is this is the choke. This with this. But when you add here, it becomes extremely tight and you can finish right there. People will go to sleep on this one. All right? This is where Anthony went to sleep. <laughs> so try to, you know, tap early if you need to. Don't wait for them to get up, okay? If you got to tap, tap. And then, you know, maybe next time you do it, person doing the choke, just go a little more slack on the collar. Like not so tight, bring it down a little bit. Cool? All right, let's practice. Three, two, one.